G'day guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and today we're going to give you a few tips on how to keep your power bill down during the cold winter months. The Fish Room, helping you keep beautiful aquariums. Okay, so the first and possibly easiest way to help get your power bills down in the winter is glue a little bit of polystyrene behind your aquarium. You're never going to see it to start with. But it's just keeping that warmth from your water inside the aquarium. It kind of sort of bounces off and keeps it in as opposed to letting it straight out, straight through the glass. Similar kind of theory to like double glazing, how it has one sheet, then a gap, and then another sheet. Kind of same principle. Can't sort of get out through the polystyrene, keeps it in, so it keeps it a bit warmer. Uh, if you've got two viewing sides you can't see, chuck it on two pieces. But for me, I just chuck it on the back, particularly on big tanks like this definitely helpful insulation if you have a fish room insulate the bejeebus out of it and if you don't have a fish room try and insulate as much as you can anyway it seriously makes a huge difference having things insulated so that's the roof to my the ceiling to my fish room it's all insulated up through there and it's all insulated through the walls as well You'll save yourself massive amounts of money if you've got an insulated room. So the next thing to look at is actually picking your products that have a lot of power consumption. 200 litres an hour, 200 litres an hour, 6 watts, 3 watts. It is double the power consumption to run this than what it is to run this. Generally speaking, the lower the power consumption, the slightly higher purchase point, but you make your money back in the long run via your power costs. I know 6 watts, 3 watts, not a heck of a lot, but this is an example. Some of the um, some of the bigger canister filters we're looking at 55 watts compared to some that are 35 watts. So 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, over and over and over again, it does bump it up pretty quickly. So be a bit savvy, have a look at the products you're buying and buy the ones that are going to be the lower power consumer than the ones that are slightly higher in the power consuming resource. Be smart with your uh, water changes. Leave your hose in the sun for a little while to let the sun warm up the water that's going inside your aquarium. This will uh, stop the water coming in coming at freezing point as opposed to having it slightly warmer. This will mean that your heaters aren't running for quite as strong to warm up your aquarium when the water comes back in. And on that note, look at doing slightly smaller, more frequent water changes. Doing a smaller water change here is going to have your water not drop quite as much in temperature as compared to if you're doing a bigger one refilling it. Slightly smaller drop in the water means your heaters aren't on for quite as long a period of time, which means they're going to be running less water. Bodies of water hold water, hold temperature quite well, so if you not make them fluctuate too much, that's going to help with your running costs of your heater. Lids. Lids are a seriously super, super easy addition to any aquarium that is going to help you keep so much warmth in, which is going to help you save a lot of money on your power bill. It's a seriously simple solution. And if you really want to get a bit more into it, you can even put a little bit of polystyrene on top of it as well. That's going to keep the heat from popping out at the same time. So lids are well up there as far as recommendations to try and keep your power bill down. Very, very good idea. Here's just a little bit of a bonus tip for everybody. Always try and have one of these on hand, a battery air pump. Power goes up for a significant amount of time. These things will be your fish's best friends. It's not so much the heat that kills fish during power cuts. It's the lack of oxygen and the lack of water movement. So definitely have one of these hanging around. And if you do end up having a power cut for a decent length of time, and you've had to use one of these, don't forget to add some products like cycle or stability or something like that into filter to build up those colonies to help get your filter running again so your fish don't go through an ammonia spike and that sort of stuff. So just a bit of a quick bonus tip for everybody. So that's some pretty simple, easy to follow advice. So let's just quickly recap that. You're doing slightly smaller water changes more frequently so the water doesn't drop in temperature quite as often. If we can heat up our hose or something like that, it's going to help the water come in a slightly warmer temperature than what it is if we were leaving it in the shadow or in the dark. Try, if you can, do a reverse lighting system if you've got a fish room. If you don't have a fish room, it's probably not that applicable because you want to still be able to see your fish at night time. If you can insulate your fish room or if you can insulate wherever your aquarium is, that is really going to help you as well. 
and if you can even insulate the back of your aquarium with a bit of polystyrene that's going to be a fantastic help at the same time and don't forget lids lids help everything keep warm uh, temperature goes upwards so if you've got a piece of glass over top it's going to help that as well so I hope you have enjoyed the little tips that we've given today uh, it might save you a couple bucks here or there it might save you a significant amount because you might not be doing anything but these are things that I try and do the entire time during the winter to help me run my fish room because I know that winter power bills are freaking expensive and they absolutely suck so that is something that I do so some things that I do so hopefully that helps you as well if you've got any other tips or advice drop them in down in the comments down below um, again I'd love to learn more myself or if you've got some other things that will help other people man that's brilliant this hobby is all about learning so if you can help other people learn by sharing your knowledge perfect right that's me have a good one guys happy fish keeping and catch you later